Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Week 1, Quarter 3. Today, we're going to learn about division. Kids, are you ready? Let's start! Most Essential Learning Competencies Visualizes and represents division and writes a related equation for each type of situation. Equal sharing, repeated subtraction, equal jumps on the number line, and formation of equal groups of objects. What is division? Division means partitioning a set or grouping the objects. There are parts of division. Dividend is the number to be divided. Divisor is the number that divides the dividend. Quotient is the answer in division. Example 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 15 is dividend. 3 is divisor. And 5 is quotient. We say 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Kids, can you say it too? Very good! 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Let's do this example. Lara makes pot holders. She packs them by twos in plastic bags. If she makes 10 pot holders, how many packs can she make? Let's see. The first question is, how many pot holders are there? Let's count the pot holders. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 pot holders. Second question. How many pot holders are in each pack or set? Let's see. In each pack, there are two pot holders in plastic bags. Next question. How many packs or sets can she make? Let's count the packs or sets she made. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plastic bags. She made 5 sets of plastic bags. We write 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 10 tells the number of pot holders in all. 2 tells the number of each pack or set. 5 tells the number of packs or sets. Here is another example. How many shells in all? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct! There are 12 shells. How many sets are there? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct! There are 4 sets of shells. How many shells in each set? In each set, there are Three shells. We write 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 12 is the number of shells in all. 
divided by 3 is the number of shells in each set. Equals 4 is the number of sets. Division is a shortcut for the repeated subtraction of the same number. Let's do this example. Anna had 9 apples. She put 3 apples in each plastic bag. How many plastic bags did she use? One way to find the answer is to put 3 apples in one bag. Then place 3 apples in a second bag and so on. Another way to find the answer is do the repeated subtraction. 9 apples minus 3 apples in first bag equals 6 apples left minus 3 apples in second bag equals 3 apples left minus 3 apples in third bag equals 0. No more apples left. This is another way to find the answer in division. Anna used 3 plastic bags. We can find the answer by division. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. We got the answer by repeatedly subtracting 3. Division is a shortcut for this. We can say 9 divided by 3 equals 3. We can check our answer in division by multiplication. 3 times 3 equals 9. Here are another example. How many 2's are in 4? 4 minus 2 equals 2 minus 2 equals 0. How many 2's do you see? Correct, there are 2 2's. Or 4 divided by 2 equals 2. We got the answer to 4 divided by 2 by subtracting 2 from 4 until the remainder is 0. How many 2's are in 8? 8 minus 2 equals 6 minus 2 equals 4 minus 2 equals 2 minus 2 equals 0. How many 2's do you see in 8? Correct! There are 4 2's. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. There are 4 2's. We got the answer to 8 divided by 2 by subtracting 2 from 8 until the remainder is 0. Let's learn about rows and columns. Look at the picture. The two pictures have equal number of squares, 15. Let's see the first picture. 15 divided into rows of 5 equals 3 rows. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Let's see the second picture. 15 divided into columns of 3 equals 5 columns. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Remember, 15 divided by 5 equals 3 and 15 divided by 3 equals 5 are related division numbers. Let's write two division sentences for each picture. There are 8 flowers. Let's group the flowers into 4. So, 8 divided by 4 equals 2. There are 2 rows. 8 flowers divided by 4 in each row equals 2 rows. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Now, let's group the flowers in columns. In each column, there are Two flowers. And how many columns do you see? Correct, there are four columns. Eight divided by two equals four. 
the two equation division are related in division. Let's see another example. Let's group the apples in rows. How many apples in each rows? Correct, there are 7 apples in each rows. And how many rows of apples? Correct, there are 3 rows of apples. So 21 divided by 7 equals 3. Let's group the apples in columns. How many apples in each column? Correct, there are 3 apples in each column. And how many columns of apples? Correct, there are 7 columns of apples. So, 21 divided by 3 equals 7. These two division equations are related division. To check division, we can use multiplication because division is the opposite of multiplication. Let's compare division equations and multiplication equations. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. The multiplication equation of this is 3 times 3 equals 9. Another division equation is 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And the multiplication equation of this is 4 times 2 equals 8. Another division equation is 15 divided by 3 equals 5. And the multiplication equation of this is 5 times 3 equals 15. Another division equation is 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And the multiplication equation of this is 3 times 4 equals 12. Another division equation is 27 divided by 9 equals 3. And the multiplication equation of this is 3 times 9 equals 27. Now, do these activities. Find the quotients. Use your counters if you want. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 6 divided by 2 equals blank. Number 2. 12 divided by 2 equals blank. Number 3. 15 divided by 3 equals blank. Number 4. 24 divided by 3 equals blank. Number 5. 20 divided by 4 equals blank. Number 6. 36 divided by 4 equals blank. Number 7. 25 divided by 5 equals blank. Number 8. 40 divided by 5 equals blank. Number 9. 14 divided by 7 equals blank. And number 10. 7 divided by 7 equals blank. Remember, division means partitioning a set or grouping the objects. There are parts of division. Dividend is the number to be divided. Divisor is the number that divides the dividend. And quotient is the answer in division. Division is a shortcut for the repeated subtraction of the same number. To check division, we can use multiplication because division is the opposite of multiplication. So kids, again, what we have studied today? Correct! It's about division. Kids, I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!